For every small business, work health and safety is a key responsibility. All small business owners and operators need to ensure that work health and safety is a part of their business planning to ensure that people at work are safe. Achieving good work health and safety outcomes improves your bottom line and enables success. To help small business, SafeWork SA has developed a guide and checklist. By following just seven simple steps, you can create a positive work health and safety culture that contributes to the safety of your business. Setting up a safe workplace is step one. Well, managing work health and safety isn't difficult. Um, it's about leadership, it's about commitment, it's also about communicating what the requirements are and then making sure that everybody actually understands that to take the responsibility and the ownership required to make it successful. We just want everybody to be safe. That leads us to step two, consulting. This enables everyone at work to understand the issues and is a key step for an improved safety culture. As a business owner, you need to consult your workers. This can be formal or informal. By writing a safety policy in consultation with our staff, it's allowed us to identify um, the workers' responsibilities in the workplace and help us to achieve a safe work environment. Managing hazards is the third step. By finding hazards in the workplace and identifying them, for example, driving to locations, extreme weather, making sure they've got the PPE, um, is the best way of managing them. Letting our staff know that they're cared for, identifying them, managing is the best way of keeping our staff safe in the workplace. The safe approach is a great starting point. Spot the hazard. What could cause injury, illness or damage? Assess the risk of each hazard you've spotted how likely it is to result in an injury, illness or death. Fix it early. Prevention is key. Fixing or eliminating hazards is ideal and where not possible, find ways to minimise the risks. Sharing information, training and supervising your team will see you complete step four. From my perspective, when people understand the uh, workplace and the hazards in the workplace and how to work safely, we're on the right track. I work really hard to ensure that new workers are inducted and are supervised in the workplace. Maintaining a safe workplace, step five, is achieved by regularly carrying out safety checks, maintaining your tools and equipment, providing easy to understand information and training people how to do their job safely. Having a reporting process for all incidents and planning for emergencies. For step six, you'll need to keep the following records. Incidents and injuries. A register for hazardous chemicals and asbestos if they're present at your workplace. And registration documents for items of plant as well as maintenance and inspection records. Keeping records of our activities helps us to monitor our health and safety performance of the business and it also ensures that we um, meet our legal obligations. Having actioned these six steps, you're at number seven. Monitor, review and keep improving. The seven step process is a really great structure to start with, but when you get to number seven, it's not the end of the road. If you have new employees that come and start with you, if you introduce new products, or even perhaps relocate like we have. Um, there are ongoing processes and policies that you have to review to ensure that it's a safe workplace. Whether you're a new or established business, Safe Work SA's checklist will help you see how your business rates. For more information, visit safework.sa.gov.au or call the Safe Work SA Help Centre on 1300 365 255. Safe Work SA. Safe, fair, productive working lives.